Hey guys, welcome back. And if you're new here, thanks for stopping by. I'm Jim, and this is my first look video at the new Mylio Photos 2022, which might be one of the coolest things I've ever seen. It is a comprehensive global organizer for your photos that gives you access to all your photos on all your devices all the time. It's frankly like Nirvana for photographers. If you like to stay organized with your photos and your photo library and know where things are and have access to them at all times, this will be the app for you, my friends. I think of it as a comprehensive global operating system for all your photos and videos, regardless of where they are stored, that gives you basically a single pane of glass visibility to every one of these assets. All of your photos and videos are cataloged into a single unified library view that's accessible on every one of your devices, even when you're not at home. That's right, you can get access to your entire library that's at home from your mobile device. To be clear, nothing is in the cloud. Everything is local to your vault, which is your primary storage location that you set up for Mylio. There's no need to move any of your photos and you do not need to change your organizational structure. You simply point Mylio to your photos and go. So you can do things like organize your photos, search your photos, filter your photos, get a calendar view, a map view, there's facial recognition. Like I said, there's a lot to talk about. I'm gonna unpack some of that in this video, but by all means, feel free to leave me a comment down below and I'll do my best to answer those questions. And the normal price is $99.99 per year or $9.99 per month on a subscription. However, there's a special offer for my viewers at the link down below that's $74.99 per year on a subscription or $7.49 per month. So click that link down below. You can set up a free MyLeo account, download the software, you get a full 30-day money-back guarantee trial, including access to all features in the product. And to be clear, when I say all devices, I'm talking Mac, I'm talking Windows, Android, iOS, you name it, it's covered. Let's get into this product and let me give you a tour of what it can do for you. Okay, here we are in the Mylio interface. I'm gonna to touch on some key elements here. Again, can't cover it all. There's so much you can do with this app, but it's a lot of fun. And like I said, if you wanna be organized, this is the way to do it. I'm in the all photos view in the upper left-hand corner. You can see that it's all photos and it's literally all my photos. As I scroll through, you can see the date and the times are changing on this right-hand side, and I can always just drag them, and I can go all the way back in time to the beginning of my photo library. One of the first things Milo does will prompt you to create a vault, and I did that with my external 18 terabyte drive that I already had all my photos on, but then I also brought in all of my archive photos because what I wanna do in taking advantage of the power of Milo is not just do some organization and making sure that I have a complete view of everything, but also some discovery. And that's one of the cool things about Mylio. You will discover photos you forgot you had, forgot you had taken, and trips that you would forgot you'd gone on. It's so much fun. Let me show you my external drive. It's this 18 terabyte drive. I set this up as a vault with two linked folders. Photos, this is my actual photo library. These are all my collections of photos, and these are the photos that I go in and edit with. But I also created a photo archive folder, and I put that on this external drive so that I could add it to Mylio. So I'm going back to several years ago, prior to actually being a photographer, where I just had miscellaneous family pictures or random trips, things like that. But I've got those two folders all consolidated onto a single drive and Mylio is pointing at it so that now if I go into calendar view, I've got a full view of everything that's in my library going all the way back to 2001. You can see this is what they call decade view. I've got the 2000s, the 2010s, and the 2020s. I've seen other people that have gone in and scanned old family photos, put in the appropriate dates. You can add keywords and tags and ratings as well. So I could have my photo library going back to the 1930s or the 40s or the 50s, however old your family photos are. Again, single unified view of all of your images. In the 2000s, I was not into photography. I took some random photos of family events and things like that, as you can see here. Starting around 2010 or so, I picked up a camera and started kind of taking photos, as we like to say. And then I started really getting into it as that decade progressed. But the point is, I've got this entire library here, and with my calendar view, I have access and visibility to every one of them. If I look at 2016, I can double click and go into the individual months. 
I could then click on a month, go into the individual days and see all of those. You can see we were in Italy, double click on a day and see every photo that was taken on that day. Again, this is just pulling from the information that's built into your photo files. And as long as you have Milio pointing to those photo folders, it's gonna show up here and be indexed and cataloged for you. Now, map view is another interesting feature, and this is based on geotagged or GPS information in your photos. You can see there's various locations showing up here on this map, and you can add to that as well. Most of these that are geotagged are based on iPhone photos. So what I've done is I've had multiple iPhones over the years. Once I'm giving up an iPhone and moving to a new model, I'll generally just copy all the photos onto a folder, store them on a hard drive, and frankly, never look at them again. But now I've added all those archives into Mylio. So now they're geotagged, they're located, and they're organized. So again, this gives me the ability to go look at iPhone photos from various trips all around the globe over the last 10 or 12 years that frankly I forgot I had. I can also go into individual folders and add a location to either individual images or folders in order to add them to geotags. And that's something I need to do. I need to further populate the map because right now I don't have all of my photos geotagged. You've also got people, so you can go in and tag individuals into individual photos. And Mylio is telling me I've got nearly 22,000 photos that have people in them that haven't been tagged. So you can go and do that as well. But I do wanna point out the different folders. As I mentioned, I've got two different folders that are tied to Mylio right now. These are the ones I mentioned earlier on my external hard drive here. That is my photo archives, which is this one down here in the bottom, and also my photos folder, which is actually all my photos that I go in and edit. So Miley is looking at those two folders, both of them in my vault, and I can double click to get into either one of those, and I've got this sorted the way I like to sort or organize my photos, which is by location and then by date. So let's say I take a Europe folder, I can go in, I see that I've got a London from April 2011. So if I double click into that folder, you can see it's telling me here in the info panel that I have 355 photos in this folder. Now I can go in and click edit and select all. And let's say that I wanna add those to the location on the map. I can click on map. Here's a London, but they haven't been geotagged yet. So I can come in, I can make the map larger. I can also zoom in. And for simplicity's sake, let's just say that I wanna add all these to Westminster in London. Many of these are big bins, so that's appropriate, but you can do it specifically by individual image. All you do, once you've highlighted all of them, is just drag it onto the map. You can come over here and just drop it right here, and it'll come up and say, is this where you wanna place it? It'll give me either a green check or a red X. I'll just click green check. It'll assign the photo place to these 355 photos. As you can see, the location is Big Ben on Bridge Street in Westminster, London. So it's quick and easy to geotag individual or groups of photos in order to get a more specific map view and again, more information about your library. Now I've clicked on dashboard. I wanna show you a few cool things here. You can see on the right-hand side, I've got basically 300,000 photos in my library. There's a getting started tutorial. There's various notifications and actions you can take, including one of the new features here in actions is the ability to dedupe. You can find duplicates. I don't know about you, but I end up with some duplicate photos doesn't really matter to me. I don't mind having duplicates, but if you wanted to save storage space, you could click on that and allow it to run a scan across your images and across your library, and it will come back and say, hey, these are the duplicates that we found, and it'll give you the option to remove them or not. You can see this has come up, and there's a walkthrough menu for the dedupe. I'm gonna close that, but you can see that Milo has found lots of different duplicates in my photo library. And in fact, 15,000 sets of duplicates, that's about 47,000 images. One of the reasons why is I will often make a copy of a photo and then drag it to a different folder in order to edit that for a video for here on YouTube. So I end up with two copies of the photos. The point is you've got this amazing dedupe technology built into Milio, giving the ability to consolidate your images and save you storage space. I'm gonna close that and I wanna show you devices. I've got my MacBook Pro, which is my main editing computer. I've got my iPhone connected to Milo. And then I've got my Vault, which is my 18 terabyte external drive that I already talked about. And by the way, it has sources here, linked folders. It says there's two folders. There's photos and photo archives, the same folders I've shown you earlier. One of the really interesting aspects of Milo is this library stats. It's got various categories here that you can sort and filter by. So I've got about 400 photos tagged. I've got about 40,000 that aren't tagged yet. So I need to go in and do more of that, but it also does it by places. You can see a visual heat map here of the globe showing you where the geotagged images are currently located. 
in the US. If I click on that, you can see that there's quite a few around the US. And if I click on various countries like France or Denmark or Italy, you can see that some of these are geotagged as well. Again, I need to go in and drag more pins and more folders onto the map to more accurately place these and to geotag them. But great information, great intelligence about your images. You've also got file types. You can see I've got lots of Sony RAW files, lots of Nikon RAW files, lots of Olympus RAW files, various movie files, things like that. It also will scan and recognize characters. So I've got a PDF in here somewhere that it's picked up as well. Two of my favorite sections in the dashboard are cameras and lenses, showing me the various cameras that I've shot with over the years. You can see I've got a lot of Apple iPhone images. I've never before had them categorized, catalog, indexed, none of that until Milo came along. So again, it's giving me great visibility into what I've got in my library and also just bringing back some great memories, to be honest. On top of that, I can click on lenses and you can see these are the various lenses that I've shot with over the years on various different cameras. I've even got a section that's showing me various keywords. Words. There's also a help section here in the dashboard, which includes the ability to add a sample library. So if you download a trial at the link below, you can add the sample library, experiment, just check out the app and see how it works for you. One of the other cool things about Milio is you can actually edit photos in Milio. Let's say you select a photo, you can come over here to the side panel, click on edit, and you can see you've got a number of different preset looks built in. One click, you can apply those to your photo. You can also click on edit photo if you want to get into individual controls and edit the photo the way you want to edit the photo. On top of that, if you have external editors that you use that you already have installed on your system, make sure you've got that photo highlighted. Click on photo, click on open with, and the apps that you have installed will show up here and you can send the photo over to those apps. So lots of power, lots of control, and not just organization, but also editing. I'm gonna go back to all photos view. And for me, the thing about Milio is I finally feel like I'm getting organized. I'm not done. I've got some work to do to get everything on the map and all that, but I'm having a complete archive of everything that I've taken, where it's taken, when it's taken, organized by year, organized by location, organized every which way. I'm really excited about this. I think it gives you amazing power and intelligence, not to mention visibility and access to your entire photo library. Again, you can be somewhere with just your mobile phone, and in fact, with a tap, download a RAW file from your library to your mobile device, edit, and sync it back to Mylio. It's amazing. It's really cool stuff. I'm excited about it. I'm going to come back and do more videos about it because there's honestly so much to talk about. So as you can tell, I like this app, and I think Mylio has done basically the impossible, which is make organizing your photos kind of fun. Having everything and access to everything and all that at all times, no matter where you are on every device, it's kind of unheard of, to be honest. And like I said, it's a great discovery tool. I'm finding new photos to edit. I'm finding photos I didn't know I have. And I'm wandering down memory lane, having a great time remembering some things that I completely had forgotten had happened. That's my Leo for you. All your photos, all your devices, all the time. Hope this preview video and first look has given you a good idea of how it works. Again, let me know if you have any questions down below. I'll be back with more videos soon. Thanks for watching, my friends. Hope you guys are doing well. You guys take care of yourselves. I'll see you soon, and until then, adios.